Looking back, Colin Powell remembers this day as a painful blot on his career. He gave the UN Security Council a detailed account of Saddam Hussein's supposed weapons of mass destruction. Ladies and gentlemen, these are sophisticated facilities. He said the Iraqis had built a mobile biological weapons program. They had to be stopped. For example, they can produce anthrax and botulinum toxin. In fact, they can produce enough dry biological agent in a single month to kill thousands upon thousands of people. One problem, it wasn't true. This is the Iraqi defector who invented those stories. Western agents called him Curveball. Now he says he made it up. But why? The old regime was a dictatorship, and that caused a lot of problems for our country. I had to do something for my country. So I did this, and I am satisfied, because there is no dictatorship in Iraq anymore. And does he have any regrets? If I could go back to 2000, if someone asked me, I would say the same thing, because I wouldn't want the regime to continue in our country. So why did anybody believe Curveball? early 2003, and in Europe, the proposed war against Iraq was unpopular. This expert says the Americans wanted to find evidence that would justify war. Within the United States government, uh, there were some competing views about uh, how reliable uh, such information might be, might be, but there was a political uh, disposition to believe that Saddam had weapons of mass destruction and Curveball's uh, testimony fed into this existing belief structure. And so it came to this, shock and awe. The Iraq war started with a brief triumphant display of Western military power and ended in years of recriminations. Curveball could never have imagined the stories he told Western agents would have such an impact. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera.